a pleasant day STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. So for today's discussion, we will talk about understanding correlation analysis. So at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to establish a relationship between bivariate data and to illustrate a correlation analysis, its strength and direction. So what is a correlation analysis? So a correlation analysis is a statistical method used to determine whether a relationship between two different variables or bivariate data exists. So it's just like your relationship with your parents, with your siblings, with your best friend or friends, or your relationship with your um, boyfriend or girlfriend. So those are special kinds of relationship. But in statistics, you could actually measure the degree of relationship by describing their strength, meaning um, is it strong? Is the relationship weak? So we measure that through correlation analysis. Or the direction, meaning if there is no direction, then that is a zero correlation. If it is a positive correlation or a negative relationship, therefore it describes the direction of the relationship. Say for example, when we talk about IQ and average, so these are the two bivariate data you know, that are taken from a sample of or a population. So if you are interested of how IQ affects the average grade or vice versa, how the average grade affects the IQ, meaning we are establishing a relationship between these two bivariate data, then you will be using correlation to describe those relationships. That is why many think that correlation is about causation, meaning the independent variable affects the dependent variable. But correlation does not imply causation, meaning the independent variable could also be a dependent, and the dependent could also be an independent. So it's vice versa. Because both the factors should be co-founding variable. One affects the other, and the other also affects the other. Because if it is a cause and effect problem, then that is not correlation. But correlation shows how the two variables exist with each other. So they are just co-founding variables. So there may be other variables that can cause two things you are investigating to be related to each other. So there are also other variables that we could relate to IQ. So it's not only about the average grade of a person, but IQ could be correlated with other existing variables. So I hope that is clear. So when we talk about the direction of correlation, we have three. We say that there is a positive correlation exists when the high values of one variable corresponds to the high values in the other variable. Vice versa, when the low values in one variable corresponds to the low values in the other variable, then that is positive correlation. One perfect example is the demand and price. If the price goes higher, that is because the demand is high, just like the iPhone series. So there's a high demand for these kinds of phones. That's why the price is very high. So we say that if there is a low demand on a certain product, then the price is also low. So not so popular phones are very cheap in the market because they share positive correlation based from the demand and the price. So those are the two bivariate data. Now let's talk about the negative correlation. So negative correlation exists when high values in one variable corresponds to low values in the other variable or vice versa. Meaning negative correlation exists 
when low values in one variable corresponds to high values in the other variable. So they are the opposite results. Okay? Say, for example, supply and price. If there is too many supply of a certain product, then the price becomes low. And if there is very limited supply, then the price gets high. And that is what is happening um, today uh, because of the effects of the Ukrainian war. And we all know that Russia supplies the world oil. So we are affected with it because of the low supply coming from those countries no, that gives us oil. So the prices get higher. Number three, zero correlation. It means when the high values in one variable corresponds to either high or low values in the other variable, meaning there is no relevance or there is no relationship existing. For example, the salary and the color of your hair are zero correlated. So your salary in a job does not reciprocate the color of your hair. So they are not actually related with each other. That is why it is a zero correlation. Another way of describing it, okay, is through this particular examples. So look at the examples of positive correlation, number of family members and expenses. So the more family members, the higher the expenses and the low family, um, family members you have, then the lower the expenses. Your height from your shoe size, temperature and ice cream sales. We all know that if it's very hot, then ice cream sales gets higher. Negative correlation, expenses and savings. So the more that you spend money, the less you save. And the more, um, the less you spend money, the more that you save. Number of absences and creeds. And number of cigarettes consumed and the age at that. Yeah, we know that these examples are negative correlation. For zero correlation, your height does not affect your grade. Your scores in Filipino and your scores in PE are different and divorce. So when we talk about correlation analysis technique, there are two ways to perform it. First is graphically. We can represent it by the use of the scatter plot diagram or the scatter diagram. And number two, we can actually solve for the Pearson product moment correlation coefficient, which is also known as Pearson R. So all of this will be discussed on the next video lesson about big number six. So again, this is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher.